Nvidia has named their new 4000 series graphic card Ada Lovelace, since it is the first time a female scientist is being named on their mainstream graphic card. Maybe it's time that we take a look who is Ada Lovelace and what is her contribution in the computer science world. Thanks, Brandon. Ada Lovelace was born on December 10, 1815, under the famous poet Lord George Bryan and his wife, Lady Anne Bryan. Sadly, Lord Bryan left the family when she was young, but her mom, Lady Bryan, a mathematician herself, has insisted that she should have the proper tutoring in her math and science, which she hoped that you can help her to prevent the insanity and the excessive of romanticism from her father. The actual event and that are a bit messy uh, from now, so don't quote me on any of the details, but if you could correct my information in your comment below. She much published on the conference about different engines mm, on the conference. And at that moment, Charles Babbage was working on the analytical engine, a much more advanced version uh, of the different engine. So the different engine number one is a mechanical calculator that allows for the calculation of value in the polynomial using a method of finite differences. Basically, you could solve a polynomial equation but by calculating the first and the second differences between them. Meanwhile, this analytical engine is supposed to be programmable instead of just running rigid calculation as in the different engine. So after exposed to the different engine by um, Charles Babbage, Ada wrote an attentive note on the design and several complex mathematics program to Babbage, and this led her to join Babbage in the design and construction of the analytical engine. Some other documents has also indicated that Ada had helped to translate a paper from Rugby Federico Menakbu, which is a paper written by the stated author of the Babbage lecture on the analytical machine. During the translation, she has also added many of her own ideas and thoughts, making the paper much more longer and valuable than the original. Another notable work that from her is about the algorithm that she had written on the analytical engine to calculate the Bernoulli number. Bernoulli's number by this equation and a few figures are presented here. So from what I understand, they are both related to Raymond's data function and prime numbers, both of which is way more beyond of my understanding, so I don't plan to further elaborate here. Um, but I have included some of the paper in this video description for anyone that is interested. So one thing what to note is, um, women in science in the 18th century is not without controversy. Some have claimed that she is overcredited for the contribution in the development of the analytical engine, and some claim that she is merely just a clerk, noting down the research of Babbage in a journal. Since I don't really have a time traveling machine, I think it's hard for me to know what is the exact truth. But what I know is no good science ever sprang up from nowhere, and all the science is done through a communication and collaboration of the community throughout maybe a long time series and in a way that each of them trying their best to fill the knowledge gap. So I don't really think that at the time Babbage or Ada is trying to make sure that their name will be uh, remembered as a great stylist in the world. So they are just doing what they love and passionate and by you know that the machine cat could have a make impact in the 150 years later, which is now. Perhaps this is a takeaway message from the story. So um, it is regardless of the family and the growing condition. Um, which Ada was born in a family that without her father, Sheng Xiang. But thanks to her mother, she was able to expose to the mathematics and science world and then led her to be interested more in the analytical engine and eventually lead to what contribute in the computer programming and being named as one of the NVIDIA models in today's world. So maybe that's how science works. You work hard on something that you love and passionate about and eventually you will be making an impact to the world that you won't be able to predict. It. 
So keep loving Steins and keep working hard. I'll pass this to Brandon. Thanks Lin Chi for that lovely story. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I will see you next time. Bye. Paper from um a paper from Nuti Federal Recall Federico Luigi Menabella. Luigi Menabella. Federico Luigi Menabella. Mera